Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to do a Christmas craft tonight and I'm just kind of getting started painting because it's going to take a little bit of painting tonight so I've already started painting. Just say hey once you get on. <clears throat> so y'all haven't missed anything, I'm just starting to paint this shape. I've already got one side painted. Hey Tina! Hey everybody, you hadn't missed anything, I'm just painting because I've got a little bit of painting to do. Hey Daryl, hey Patty from Iowa. I'm just painting this uh, shape. Hey Nancy, thank you for sprinkling. Hey Rebecca. So I'm using this, um, this shape from the Dollar Tree. This little ornament looking shape thing. Thank you, Robin, for the stars. This little ornament shape thing. I'm using that from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting it red. I've already painted the back side. Um, <clears throat> so the back will be finished. <laughs> Cause you know, a lot of times I don't end up painting the back on live. I always go back and do it later or it just doesn't get painted. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, hey, Luann. So I'm just painting this red, and this is Anita's. It's just true red is all I'm using. Um, any red. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kibby. Any red will work. <clears throat> and um, so just whatever color you want to do it. And we are going to make a cute little Santa Claus um, craft. Hey, from Indiana. Thank you for the stores. Let's see. So I'm just giving it a good coat of red. So it's that shape from the Dollar Tree. Some of y'all have it and don't know what to do with it. Well, here you go. <clears throat> Thank you, Robin. Hey, Debbie. Hope y'all have had a good week. I've had a good week. I hope y'all have. It's been nice, pretty weather. We just leave the TV off and we'll be good. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about it. I haven't watched a whole lot. I just stay away from all that stuff just gets depressing or whatever, I don't know. Oh, good. Glad you're glad that I'm on. <laughs> My Friday Night Live. Oh, good, you have the ornament and you haven't done anything with it. Well, here you go. I'm painting it red to start with, because that's Santa Red. It's just called True Red from Anita's, but Apple Barrel, whatever red. I was going to use my Waverly um, Crimson, but I, I barely have any left, and I got to get some more <clears throat> now that Waverly's all back in stock. So, um, I got to pick me up some more, and it's not a color I use a whole lot, but here at Christmas, it will be. So, I'm just using regular acrylic paint. Oh, nice, wonderful weather in Michigan. Yeah, it's been beautiful fall weather this week. But it's kind of warm, a little warm, but that's to be expected. You know, it'll be, it'll be winter one day in the south, and then the next day it'll be summer again. So you don't ever know. <clears throat> or you can have all the seasons in one day. Okay. So I did find something out. I painted it, I painted this side earlier with the same paint. And I got my heat gun, and I started drying it. Well, you know how when you press a red shirt, um, hey Gwen, you press a red shirt with an iron and it gets that dark color and then it comes back to the regular color? <clears throat> well, I kind of did that to my paint. And you see this, the places? I don't know what happened, but that's the back. So I'm not going to heat gun it tonight because on this red part because I'm kind of worried it made it a different color. So I'm not going to use my heat gun. So I'm going to set that and let it dry. So if you have this shape, this is what we're using. This shape from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just letting that dry. We're gonna let that set over there. And I think I'm just gonna put my brush to the side and I'm gonna use it in a minute and see what y'all are saying. Yes, pretty bright red, 70 in Iowa. Oh, Tammy. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into like a Santa and we are going to make him a belt, okay? And we're gonna use this little frame from the Dollar Tree as his belt buckle, okay? And I got some black stuff over here. We're gonna make a belt. 
Um, and so here's the little buckle. Y'all yeah, know y'all probably seen these at Dollar Tree. Um, your brush, your brush. Yeah, my brushes are all very well loved and they have paint on them and everything else. So I'm taking out the glass, the teeny weeny glass. It's the two by three frame. It's the little bitty frame. Um, so I took the, I'm taking the glass out because I'm not using that or the back easel part. And then I'm going to take out these little, the little prongy things. Um, just finish painting your virus ornaments. Yeah, those little things are so cute. So I'm just, if you just pull out those little things with some pliers or something, they come out fairly easy. Well, I say that and then this one won't come out. <laughs> come on. There it goes. So I got both. There were only two, so I pulled them out. So now we just have this little thing. <clears throat> and I have already, um, I just took my little sanding block and I just kind of sanded it down because the paint likes to stick better to it when uh, it's kind of a rough surface. But I'm going to use, I'm going to start with Waverly White only because I want to paint it gold. Um, and I don't think that the gold is going to show up real good. And I have a black one of these too. So I just picked the, um, oh, thank you, Claudine. Um, thank you, Robin. I, um, I picked the silver just because I think it's going to be easier to cover. But if you have a black one or a gold one, you, gold would be better. But I haven't seen gold. I just saw the silver and the black. <clears throat> so I, um... I'm, get, I'm down to the bottom of this jar, and I should have turned it upside down. Starting your Dollar Tree list. Yes. Okay, so I'm just getting a little out. So I'm going to paint it white first to kind of give a base, because y'all know if you've used any kind of gold acrylic paint of any kind, that it's real translucent. So I'm going to start off with a white base. I'm going to get this all over my fingers. So let me get my baby wipes over here. Um, handy because I know I'm going to need them. <clears throat> good evening. Thank you, Cindy. I'm doing good. I was excited to come on with y'all and paint and do some fun stuff. Um, I saw these frames and I literally was like, you know, I can use that for a Santa belt, <laughs> a buckle. Um, and I've, I've had them for a while, you know, a couple of weeks probably to do and I just haven't had the right time to do it. You love my cheetah gnome and his mustache, yes. He's cute. I just fluffed out his little fur where it was um, stand up. We're going to use some fur tonight, too. God help me, because y'all know I'm going to have a fur ball in my throat when I start cutting that stuff and pulling it apart. Um, but we're going to put fur on it and everything. So we're going we're gonna to make a jazzed up Santa, Santa uh, belly out of this ornament. So I'm just giving this a good coat of chalk paint. And I know I'm going to have it on my fingers, but it's okay. Baby wipes work wonders. You need a tiny spatula. A tiny spatula. Okay. Y'all know this dries pretty fast, but we're going to take my foot-long cord uh, hot gun, hot, uh, heat gun. I got an extension cord down here, too. You've used it for a belt tooth, Terry? Okay, well, great minds think alike then. Because I was like, that makes the perfect belt buckle for Santa. It looks just like his belt buckle. You can paint them red first, then gold would be true gold. Huh, I didn't know that. Sprinkled. Oh, thank you, Shirley. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't take long for that to dry at all. And my red over here is still drying. It's probably going to need another coat, but I'm scared to put the heat gun on it because it made it a darker shade of red. It made it, I don't know, and I wasn't even that close to it, like put the gun to it. Tiny spatulas at Hobby Lobby. Oh, the little, um, to hold your stuff down while you're hot gluing. Yeah, I, ha I have one of those, um, a viewer sent me that, t sent one to me a while back and I use it. And I use my little finger protectors, too. To get all your paint out of the bottle. Oh, the, um, the Waverly paint. Yes, that'd be a good idea, too. There go my dogs. <clears throat> I 
I gotta paint this corner that I'm hauling it. Oh, Dorothy, I'm glad you're here too. Hey, Jane. Hey, Carol. Carol, we're making a Santa or a Santa uh, thing with a belt buckle. This is gonna be his belt buckle. Hey, Rhonda. Yes, these make good little ornaments. Thank you, Lenora, for the stars. These make good little ornaments, too, like putting stuff in the middle, little bitty things. Um, that would be really cute, too. So, I'm, I'm, if y'all wonder what I'm doing, I'm painting it white first, just so my gold paint will uh, show show on top of that silver. So, because the gold's kind of real translucent. If you've used it, you know that it gets translucent. And it's hard to get it to cover. Red paint, the cars have gold in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm making a Santa. This is going to be his belt buckle. It's a little frame from uh, Dollar Tree. Thank you, Teresa. <clears throat> so, this is his belt buckle. Just going to get it good and dry. And I'm using this shape for the actual Santa, whoops, Santa part. See how I didn't hit that with a heat gun and it looks fine. But then look at that side that I hit with the heat gun. You can see the difference in the color. I don't know if it just did that to the red, like you when you iron clothes. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna do a real quick coat of red on back on this again. Glad to see you. You had to watch replays, bless ya. It's not too bad watching replays. You can skip to the part you wanna skip to. I have to watch replays of a lot of my my people because I, I miss them and um, I don't get to see them, so I have to watch replays too. Monday and Friday, yes, at 7.30 Central Time on Mondays and Fridays. Got stuff everywhere. This won't take but a second just because it's already red, so I'm not worried about covering it. I'm just worried about it um, being good and solid coat. So I'm just kind of running over it real quick and we'll let it dry while we're working on our belt buckle and our belt so we're going to use all kinds of elements tonight i'm going to use some fabric i'm going to use some fur we got wood we got paint i'm breaking it all out tonight for this one so ribbon i got all kinds of stuff so i had to get a Get a quite a different uh, different items out tonight. So we're using a little bit of everything. So I just put another coat. I'm going to let it dry. Will you be cutting more? Yes. I will be cutting more of those gnomes. I've actually cut some today. I've packed, <clears throat> packed most of the orders from last night. And I'm... Um, um, cutting more of the big gnomes. You love that I'm on late at night. Well, Angela, I started going on later just because, um, because like when it's daylight to like, you know, eight o'clock when it was, <laughs> now that it's not anymore, but, um, I, um, everybody's outside doing stuff. And so I just started going on later. How do I stay so clean? Oh, this is good. I, normally I'm have paint all over me. Um, yeah, this is true red with, from Anita's, um, but I, you can use any red, it's fine. I was just out of the crimson, I don't have a whole lot left. So this is folk art metallic pure gold, just because that's what I had. Um, so we're going to see how this works. This looks pretty. I haven't used it in a while, so I don't even remember what it looks like. So I painted the little frame white, it was silver, just so I have a good base um, for my gold. Because the gold is, you know, it's very transparent. So, <clears throat> we are going to see what this looks like. So, it would have a good base. Kind of like a primer. I kind of like put a primer on it. Yes. Did I cut the bigger gnome behind me? Yes. I had those on the site last night. And, of course, they sold out. <laughs> um, and then, I don't think it would matter how many I cut. I think they would sell out. Um, I was like, okay, this ought to be good to start with. Nope. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. But a lot of people have been asking me for those, that bigger ones. Um, thank y'all for sprinkling. And um, 
asking me for them bigger. So I said, well, I'm going to cut some bigger and see. And I just fell in love with them. Um, I think they're so cute. And you could, they're, be, they're a great size, like, for the center of a wreath or to put on the side of a wreath. They're the perfect size for that. I didn't want to do too big, but I didn't want to do them small because we already have the little small ones, which are cute. And I put, I put little hangers on the back of my small ones and made them into little ornaments, and they're on my tree in there. Except one that I have over here. He's over there hanging out. I can tell I love gnomes. Okay, so I'm putting this on there. Minus where my fingers are. <laughs> so see how it's, I mean, I know it doesn't, the camera doesn't do it justice, but I'm trying to hold it back where y'all can see, but it's gold. This is folk art, metallic pure gold. Um, and I also have some glittery gold that I'm probably going to put on when this dries. I might put another coat on that. Woo. Let me see if I can get my little finger finger spots. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and set my stuff to the side. We're gonna work on the actual belt itself. Small one. There, there are small ones in the shop now. The little ones. These are the little ones. Those are the little guys. And see, I just hot glued a little piece of jute on the back and I have them hanging on my tree. Um, and then these are the big guys. So you can see the difference in the size. Look how little. <laughs> and this, this right here is so cute. Look at this mustache. You just brush his little hair out to the side like that and he'll look, they'll look like that. But I put um, one of them, I put um, that one up there just has regular paint as a beard. And then I put fur on the other ones. Cause that fur is just, you know, I'm fixing to use some fur here in a few minutes and y'all, it's, it'll just be flying all around. Okay. So got that painted. So now I was at a struggle about what to make the belt out of. Okay. So I looked all through my ribbon stash and I was trying to find some ribbon that was as wide as the inside of the frame is. Okay. And all I could come up with was this was burlap ribbon that came from Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, it's very transparent. I mean, you can see how my fingers are behind it, whatever. So I painted it black and I thought, well, I could paint a stripe on the, on the ornament and it'd be black behind it. Then I thought, no, cause I could have just ran to Walmart, which is around the corner from my house. And I could have just bought some ribbon. I said, no, I'm going to do with what I have. So I took this ribbon, which is the perfect size. It comes from Dollar Tree and it's originally brown, but I painted it black. Um, but now it doesn't matter what color it is cause we're going to cover it up. So I went to my fabric stash and I have some black fabric. This is the, the correct side, which is not quite black. It's this pattern, but this side's black. So I took it and I cut it. If you'll see, let me turn it over what you can see. I cut it just a little bit bigger than the actual ribbon on both sides. So I'm just gonna lay this down. I measured this and cut it. It is a little bigger than what I need, but we can always cut it off. Y'all know me, I'm gonna cut a little more than I need. And then you can always cut off what you don't need rather to have too much than not enough. <laughs> so, um, you, you could use an actual belt and I do have some actual belts. Um, but then I didn't, I'm trying to find my little thingy mer bobber. Um, Hey Billy, I didn't want it to be too heavy. Does that make sense? Because this wood little shape is kind of, it's real light and I didn't want it to be too heavy. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the actual ribbon itself, and then I'm gonna fold over my my fabric onto that, and we're gonna glue it. So it's it's gonna this is gonna give us the actual shape of the ribbon, rather than me having to figure out, oh my goodness, did I cut my fabric straight, or do I have it folded straight, or whatever. So um, that takes too much of a thought process. So. I'm just covering up this ribbon. So you could use any kind of ribbon you have. It is wired ribbon. Um, of course, you can take the wire out if you want to. I told y'all how to do that. You just pull out the end. It'll come right out. But I'm kind of using it to, to my advantage right now. Because it holds it straight. So I'm just putting my glue. And I'm just folding over that little extra edge that I left. 
Are you making more? Yes, I'm going to make more COVID ornaments for sure. Yes, I'll be cutting those until, I'll be cutting all of it until probably December 15th. Thank you, Nancy. So yeah, don't worry if you haven't gotten your ornaments and stuff, because I promise I, I'm going to be cutting, cutting, cutting all that stuff for at least the next month. So yeah, so don't fret if you haven't gotten it. It's common. Don't want to, that's right, Lori. I don't want to strain my brain. I have to worry about measuring it. And this way, it's like, I know it's going to be the same all the way down because the ribbon's the correct size. So I'm just going to use that. So I just used what I had rather than go out and buy me a roll of ribbon, the correct, you know, black, that's the right size. So, um, I just use what I had. So, why go out and buy something when I can just make it myself? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. All right. So I just folded both sides over onto my ribbon. And you'll see. See, and I just glued it on that side and that side. All the way down. And this piece is actually bigger than the shape. Um, so I'm going to end up cutting it down. So now we have his belt. You would never know that there was something underneath there. But it's also given us that, it's given us a little bit of, um, it gives it a little body to it. I feel like I'm sitting over too far or something. <laughs> Not in the center. Um, so anyway, so there's my belt. So let me see if my little frame is dry. No, it's not quite dry, but we're fixing to make it dry. I'm gonna dry it really quick. What size red stripe? No. Oh, it's the big one. The, he's over here. He's the big one. He's the eight and a half. Ain't he cute? That's just scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And fur from Hobby Lobby. You see, it comes like this. It comes plain, and then you can do whatever you want to. Okay. Let it all dry. Hey, Sherry. Oh, the little, the little spatula thing I was using. Yeah, this is in the makeup section at Dollar Tree, and it's silicone, and I guess it's for putting on foundation or something. I don't know, but I'm an 80s girl. We just put it on with our fingers like we always have. <laughs> um, so I'm giving this another coat. And I am going to, I started to break out the real glitter and I thought to myself, do you really want to break out the real glitter? But I have some glitter uh, paint or whatever over here. I'm going to use and see what we can make with that. Because that glitter, y'all, it just gets all over. And you can't get rid of it. <laughs> you just keep finding it, which I've already got enough in here anyway. What am I making, Cindy? I'm making, um, I'm taking this ornament from, this wood ornament from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna, we're making like a Santa belly. And like, this is his belt. This is a frame from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm gonna make his, like a belt across there. We're gonna put fur and all kinds of stuff and jazz him up a little bit. He's starting to look gold, y'all. Look at the gold. Isn't it pretty? Okay. All right, so I'm going to set this down and let it dry a second. I got to get my finger marks. All right. I think that's, I think two coats is going to do. I'm picking up my glue gun, y'all. That's not going to dry it, is it? <laughs> I'm going nuts. You don't do glitter? Oh, <laughs> glitter gives you rage like it does, like Raffia does me. Raff, I get Raffia rage. Um, I can't, I can't, the raffia is, I love it, but when I break it out of that package and it's just like this big old wad of stuff, I just, I, I, <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm dealing with this little cord that's, that's a foot long. I swear, it's a, it feels like it's a foot long. Yes, I saw Carol use the glitter Mod Podge that night. Um, I need to try it. Alright. I think it's pretty dry. 
Nope. It's sparkly without the glitter. It is. It's a real pretty gold. Yeah, it's stuck to my finger. I must have a wad of it right there on the corner. It is pretty. But, and you might can be able to find you a gold frame like this at Dollar Tree. I just didn't see any. All I saw was the silver and the black, and I think they have white, maybe? I'm not really sure. Oh, Kathy, you're so sweet to say that. I try. I just, um, this is my, this is my outlet, my crafty outlet to, uh, let my creativity just go. And, um, I better shake this up first. Um, this is folk art, trusted quality, extreme glitter, and it says gold. So we're going to see what that is. But you could, um, it looks like it's just like clear with the glitters in it. If y'all can see that. See it? It's just like, it looks like clear, like Mod Podge or something. It actually smells like Mod Podge, to be honest. Um, and I'm just going to put a coat of it on top just to get it, uh, give it some little sparklies. And it's real, it's fine glitter too, so it's gonna be pretty. And y'all probably won't be able to see it on camera. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy's my helper. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Just gives it a little extra something, something, that little glitter. But I didn't wanna break out the real glitter, which I have it, I just, I try not to do it if I don't have to do it. And you bring stuff home from the Dollar Tree that has glitter over it, on it, and good Lord, it gets all over the place. Leaves a trail. Yeah, this is really pretty. Extreme, no wait, where is it? Extreme glitter. Folk art. I'm not sure where it came from. Probably Hobby Lobby, if I had to guess. It's like a top coat or something. It dries clear, but then you see the glitter. It's really pretty. I'll let, I'll let y'all try to see it in just a second. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it. But it dries pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to try to see if y'all can see it. Can you see it sparkly? I know that light is trying to shine the light. But it made it just a little bit sparkly. It's not like overwhelming, like if you would have coated it with glitter. Um, so it's it's really pretty. It's the gift that keeps on giving, Lou. That's the truth. You find it in your hair. It'll be up here on your eye somewhere, and somebody else say you got glitter on your face. You're like, oh, I know. It's just my little accessory. <laughs> I had to get me some drink from Sonic. Okay, so there's our red piece. So I kind of need to wait for that to dry because we gotta have it to. If I can do the fur first, I'll give it a little shot of hot air and see if I can help it. Okay, you got it at Walmart. Yeah, I think they sell folk art too, so they probably do have it. Um. Oh, Nancy, you could use the DT uh, Dollar Tree glitter nail polish. That's a good idea, because I'm sure it's clear and then it's got glitter in it. That's a swell idea. <laughs> I mean, Dollar Tree has glitter too. And they have those glitter glue sticks, which I've never used a glitter glue stick, so I don't even know how that even works. I mean, I guess my glue is underneath stuff, so I don't ever see that, but I don't know how that works. Okay, so here's my shape, okay? So here is my fur. God help me, because this stuff is uh, it, pfft, I'm already starting to kind of, not itch, but it makes me, uh, it, it gets it gets everywhere when you cut it. So let me see if I can get it off of here. And they got it stapled down in here like they're scared somebody's gonna steal it. Must be a big, a big fur stealing process going on at the Hobby Lobby because they have it bolted down on here. Get my pliers to get the stuff loose. Strawberry limeade from Sonic. Yes. 
And um, I don't know if y'all TikTok or not, but I saw a girl on TikTok and she was talking about um, go get a water, like a big water at Sonic and get them to put the peach flavoring in it or any flavoring you want, but peach is just sugar free. And she said, you will be addicted to peach. She put peach and something else in the water. And she said, it is like really, really good. And I was like, hmm, I never thought about that. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm, the little top piece, that's just gonna kind of be my guide of how wide I'm gonna do with the fur. So I'm gonna lay it up here at the top. And I'm just gonna make a mark with my Sharpie of how big I need to cut this. So I got this mark on, I put it on the back because you're gonna cut the fur on the back. You don't cut it on the front because then you cut all the hair off and it'll look like um, a bad crew cut. <laughs> you'll do it once and you'll be like, hmm, um, not doing that again. Where is my, my metal ruler is missing. Somewhere, okay. I have a metal one so I won't, I don't know where it is. So I won't um, cut to the side, that'll help. Let's so let's see how long it needs to be. Almost as long as this piece. Might as well say that it is. And then I'm gonna draw me some lines at the bottom. So I kinda know where that little point is at the bottom. So I just kinda drew those on the bottom too. Okay. So now I'm just gonna lay my ruler down and you get your X-Acto knife and I changed my blade right before I came live. Um, so it wouldn't take me all night to cut the stuff. And I'm just gonna go down and you just wanna cut the backing. You don't wanna cut all the way through to the to the fur part. But if you'll just drag your little X-Acto knife down there, it'll cut that backing part. And uh, you won't cut the fur. I just saw something said, where did you do something? You've never been to Sonic? Oh my goodness. My kids love Sonic. If y'all hadn't tried one of those um, <laughs> trick or treat blast things they got right now, mm-mm. It's got all the candy bars and Oreos and stuff in it. Where'd I get the wood ornament? Dollar, I mean a Dollar Tree in the Christmas stuff. Boy, this one's sharp. It's doing the job. I've used it, I've done this before with one that wasn't sharp. And you're sitting there and you might as well be just cutting it with your teeth. But it's working really well because I, I made a point to change my blade. So that helps. Because I, I use these a lot. Whew, they, I use my x a lot with my wood pieces. If something doesn't cut all the way through or something, I have to kind of help it out a little bit. And I use these a lot, all day. Oh, come on. So drawing those little lines on the back helps so you know exactly where you're going. Okay, I think I got it. All right. So then you have this. And then you just basically, there's one thread didn't go. You basically just kind of pull it away and it, it's only going to pull the backing. I didn't get all the way through. I catch myself wanting to stick my tongue out. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. So there's his little, if y'all can see the fur, um, his little middle part. We're going to make this go down the length of the, um, of the ornament. So let's see, I think that needs to go on first. So I'm gonna put it right down the center cause you know, I cut the bottom to a point, which is kind of cattywampus, but it's okay. So see how cute this is gonna look? Look how cute this is gonna be. Okay, so I think I need to put the belt, I put this on first. Yeah, cause it's gonna be on top. All right, so there's his thing. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it this way. 
I'm back at my Gorilla my gorilla Glue glue sticks. Then those Dollar Tree ones just wasn't cutting it for me. All right, so I got glue on there. And this is forgiving because the fur is kind of covers up if you're crooked or kind of covers it up. <laughs> so it's awesome. Okay. All right, so there's our... Our little furry Santa strip with fur flying all around the room. And I know y'all can't see it. Um, okay, so there's that. That was easy. And I am going to take my my little exacto knife and make a hole up here because we're going to use that to hang it. So I'm just going to kind of make a hole before it gets all stuck down. But this is the same fur you can make your known beards out of they have it at hobby lobby it's a um i don't know what i did with the top here it is it's in the crafting section kind of where the felt and all that stuff is and you get that big piece for 349 and you can use a coupon and it's really inexpensive or you can get fur by the bolt um off the bolt this you know it's a piece plus i just cut the side off so it's a pretty good sized piece you can make a lot of little gnomes with it so there's that he already looks like Santa. Okay. So then, I'm going to put my my belt that we made out of the um, stuff. And I'm going to have to see where I need to cut this off. So I'm going to put it kind of where I want it. And then I'm going to flip it over and cut that the belt. Because I, I don't want it dead across the middle. Because I'm going to make him some buttons and... I don't want it right in the center. So, all right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm going to flip it over and see if I can attempt, I'm gonna get my little mat out here. These little Dollar Tree mats are awesome. If you see these at Dollar Tree, they are wonderful. And I just moved it. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut it with my super sharp exacto knife because I just changed the blade. Wonderful new blade. Okay. So we'll cut it to fit. So there's that piece. And let me move over here to this side. I hope it's straight across the front. But I am leaving myself a little bit of leeway in case it's not quite straight. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it back and I'm going to glue it down. But I was thinking about putting something in the middle to make the fabric kind of bunch up. But I really don't think I need to. I think it looks good like that. I had cut me a little dowel. To put in the middle, but I don't think I'm going to need it. To make it kind of, you know, loop up in the belt. But I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest. I thought of everything. I was trying to make it look as realistic as I could. I think that's going to be fine right there. So I'm going to glue that sucker down. You haven't seen them at DT? I've only seen them at one Dollar Tree, and it's a big one that I go to in Memphis. And um, that's the only time I've ever seen it. Okay. So I just laid it across. I'm not going to glue it on the fur, actually. I'm just putting glue on the sides, because I think that's going to be just enough to hold it down. Hey, Amanda. Yeah, it's with the crafting stuff. The Crafter Square... But I've only seen it once. I actually gave some away on here one night. Because oh, I bought several. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Isn't that cute? Ho, ho, ho. Um, and I'm just going to trim the excess off the sides. Because, see, I still have a little bit hanging. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that off. Oof. Looks really cute. <laughs> Are you putting the belt over his beard? No, that's not his beard. It's, that's the little strip that goes down the middle. 
Um, and we're going to do something to it too. You know, the little part of his coat that goes right down the middle, like where the little buttons and stuff would be. But you can do a beard um, and not do the little... Uh, what am I trying to say? Where the jacket comes together. That fur stuff. So I'm just going to hold this for a second. Yeah, that's the front of his coat. No, that's not black felt, but a felt would be great. I didn't even think about felt, and I have felt. I have bunches of felt. It's um, it's a piece of, uh, and then threw it away. I had some ribbon from Dollar Tree, and it's that burlap, and I was going to paint it black. Well, it's see-through. So I took fabric and just covered, basically covered the ribbon with the fabric so it would just be black. But I didn't even think about using felt, and I have a bunch. Hey, Rosemary. So I just made me a belt. Rather than going to Walmart and buying some fabric, I mean, that ribbon that was the right size. Y'all, this is so stinking cute. <laughs> is that not the cutest? Yes, you could do the Grinch with that shape, too. It would be really cute. Um, okay, so my thought was I'm going to use some Jingle Bells. I'm thinking. I'm going to put them on here and look because I don't know if I'm going to actually use that or not. So let me see what y'all think. I'm going to hold it up where y'all can kind of see without me losing my jingle bells. So do y'all think I should put the jingle bells as his buttons or no jingle bells? Or I have black buttons too. I think the jingle bells are cute. Okay, so maybe we can see <laughs> if they're sliding on my fur. Buttons. Or, um, or jingle bells for his buttons. Oh, thank you, Lori. I love it, too. It's turning out just too stinking cute. I just love Christmas craft, and it's like the best time to craft. Fall and Christmas are the best time to craft. Um, so, bells or buttons. Let's see. Well, here you go, Sherry. You know what to do with it now. Thank you, Robin. You know what to do with it now. Super easy. And if you make gnomes, thank you, Dana. You already have the fur, probably. So, there you go. Um, you love the bells. Okay. Thank you, Miss Jane. Jingle bells. <laughs> Say to your husband's voting. He says jingle bells. <laughs> Yeah, if they were gold. I don't think I have any gold. Let me see if I have gold. Hold on. Y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. I don't think I have gold, though. I think I have, um, I have red. I don't have any gold. I have little bitty gold ones, but not big ones. See, I just had the little ones. That's my peanut butter jar. And I have big red ones. Bells. Curly. Yeah, you could put a beard coming down. You sure could. It'd be super cute. Thank you, Tammy. I am going to actually just that little loopy thing on the back. I'm just going to kind of see if I can't mash it in a little bit. I think I'm going to do the bells. I know, Rhonda. I wish I had gold bells. I could paint them gold. What do y'all think? Where's that paint? It just makes you smile. You can't help it. Let's see what happens if I paint one gold. Let's just see. It'll at least match. I don't know how well it's going to cover it, but we're going to try it. You don't know till you try. I like the silver contrast. See, I kind of like the silver contrast too, but I'm just, I'm curious now to see how this paint would work on the silver because you know my my frame was silver and you know I say gold is real transparent that's it so far it's not it's not exactly the best and now I can't dry it with my heat gun because it'll burn me because it's metal maybe if I hold it way back here yeah spray, spray paint on 
Use the gold glitter paint. Yeah, Mod Podge is supposed to help over oh, the paint is here better. Good thing. It's not getting hot enough to burn me, so I hope so. If I hold it back far enough. Just kind of looks splotchy. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It doesn't um, cover it. At, now I'm taking off the paint that I put on. Or either it's melting because the, the bells are on. <laughs> but you don't know till you try. See? I mean, they're not as pretty as I would like them. Because they're, I don't know. Y'all can't tell on the camera, really. Silver was a pretty contrast. I'm thinking so too. Y'all look and see what y'all think. Let me see if I can hold it up without getting gold paint on my beard. See, I kind of like the, the silver too. Put Mod Podge on and the paint will stick better. That's awesome. I'm going to set it over here. I really think I'm going to do silver. I just kind of like the silver. Are those five below brushes? Yes. Da -da -da -da. They're awesome. Let me find my other silver. Luckily, I had three out here. I think I am going to put silver. Little gold bells on the black buttons. Let's just see. i got to get all of them out of the whole thing because, of course, they're in a bag in the bottom. <laughs> We got green ones, red ones, gold ones. No big gold ones. Okay, where's the black buttons? And that's kind of cute. Okay, so she's talking about doing it like this, like putting it on the button. Isn't that cute? Let's see. I can't hold it up though. I think it's cute, but I still like the silver. I like the silver. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the silver. You can do what what color you want on yours, because I know y'all are gonna blow this out of the park. Um, and put it in the group, and I'm gonna just be blown away. And these are probably gonna get hot really fast. <laughs> I just hope they stay on, because you know they're kind of heavy on that fur. So I'm hoping that they're not gonna. Oh, Marie, good. Yeah, they have, some of them have different handles than this. I don't have one out here. Like, this one has this color. And then these are like a black glittery handle. Um, and then they have the jewel handles, too. So, they're all, it's still the same brush, though. Silver bells. Y'all gonna sing? I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready. I think I think we all need some Christmas cheer. Cause this year has just been just crazy. You found some small brushes, not the big ones that found below. I just love their I just love them because I have not had one shed yet. I've not had one have bristles come out. Um, nothing. They they you know how you're painting along with something and then the bristle comes out and you're like then you got to fish it out of your project and you're like, uh, um, these brushes don't do that. I have not yet had one shed on me and I love it. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> She's too stinking cute. Isn't it cute? Thank you, Stephanie. I think it's cute too. All from a, a seeing a little frame at Dollar Tree, and I went, oh, that could be a belt buckle. Yeah, five below doesn't have them online, is what somebody said. Kathy said that, but somebody else had already said that too. Um, I just wish I knew where they got them because, Lord, I would go buy a whole bunch of them and so everybody could have some. Now I've got, I put hot glue over my hole for the hanger. When I put my my um my fur on, so I'm trying to cut out that glue out of that hole. Isn't that cute? It's cute, cute, cute. Okay, so now 
I think, you know, I got, I'm going to add a little bit of that because I just got to, um, I think I'm to hang it with, I think I'm just going to, um, put some, let's see how I'm going to do this. This comes from Hobby Lobby. And if you look what it says, it says gift trim. So now, you know, Hobby Lobby likes to hide ribbon all over the store. In case y'all didn't know that already. They have the ribbon section. Then they have the bridal ribbon. Then they have the gift wrap ribbon. And then they have ribbon, some ribbon back there where the scrapbook stuff is. Um, so you got to look for it everywhere. So when they put the Christmas half off or the ribbon half off, it's kind of all over the store. But that came in the gift wrap section. Now I'm trying to get a hold of this wire. I don't know where my pliers went. Here they are. So um, if some of y'all didn't know, you know, wire ribbon has wire down both sides. And you can get rid of that wire by pushing down the material and grabbing a hold of that wire. And if I can get a hold of it, I can't see it for all the fuzz. There it is. My pliers won't hold on to it. What is going on with my pliers? Do they have something in there? If I can just get it out enough where I can get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. So if you'll get a hold of that wire and just pull that wire right on out of there. She was supposed to mail me yours. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do the other side. So you can make any wired ribbon unwired just like that. Easy peasy. Oh, thank you, Mary. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my attempt to put this through here because I put glue over the hole like a, like a nut. I wasn't thinking. So don't put glue over your hole when you do it. I'm trying to stick it through the hole. See if I can get it through here through all of the fur, poke it through there, here we go, there it comes, all right, I know I had to add some buffalo check to it, I just love it, I started to do his belt in buffalo check, but I was like, no, I got to be a little more traditional and just do the regular black, but it would be cute with a buffalo check belt, I think. Give Santa a little upgrade. I'm going to pull that to the back where you don't see it. Cut off my little twiggies. There it is. Look how cute it is. Isn't that cute? Oh, 60 Five, 66% off for Christmas? What? How'd you know that, Kathy? Yes, you could use a pipe cleaner. That would be cute, too, to put that in the middle of his belt. Yeah, why are they putting it up so early? It's just, um, I, well, I guess they do it because people are, um, decorating, I don't know. But, I mean, that's kind of early to put their Christmas that early. I, I painted this, Della, a, de, a deli, Delia. It was just the ornament from Dollar Tree, and I painted it red, and I used some fabric over some ribbon and made his belt. This is a frame from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is fur from Hobby Lobby, and then bells are from probably Hobby Lobby. I don't know, and it was easy peasy, but you could do this on a number of things. You know, Dollar Tree has those different shaped signs. You could do it on any of those signs, and it would look just as cute. I just had this sitting here and there, and I keep moving it around the room. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, pff, you know, I got fur in my mouth. Um, yeah, the buffalo check, I think, just sets it off. I think it's really cute. But um, you could do this on any one of their signs. They have those with the wavy shape edges. That would be so stinking cute. Um, but I love it. So, yeah, so Hobby Lobby... Is 60% off Monday. How do you know this? Kathy, 
Please tell us. What's the secret? How do you know the inside scoop? Mm. They're scared there's going to be a shutdown? Oh, 40% off Christmas stuff. Uh, Joann's is expensive to me. And then they marched up down and I'm like, oh, it's still expensive. <laughs> um, thank you, Jane. Thank you, Diana. Um, I'm waiting for Kathy to tell us how she knows the inside track on Hobby Lobby. Because, you know, usually they don't leave. Um, um, they don't tell you what's on sale till Sunday. Put a belt, put one down here. Is that what y'all are saying? I don't know if I have a silver one. Hold on, I gotta get a silver one. It's just right here. With all my other bales. Why do you not have one? I don't know if I got one, guys. I painted it gold. Nope. I don't have another silver one. I painted it gold. Oh, Lizzie and Aaron announced it. Oh, somebody has an inside track. It's over here painted gold. <laughs> but you know what? I could do this. There's talk of a shutdown. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. Who knows what's about to happen? We're just in a world of mess. We just need to pray. <laughs> All right, I'm wiping off the gold paint off the silver bell that I started painting. But yeah, it probably would be better if you spray painted these. Um, I'm just wiping it off. Y'all won't put one down at the bottom? I love the bells too, Nancy. Thank you, Teresa. I'm getting it off slowly. I start wiping it off and then I use part of it and then I wipe it right back on. <laughs> so I have to keep moving my rag around. Let's see. Or my baby wipe. Let it dry. Okay. Yeah, the gold wiped right off. So I don't know if it would stay. Like somebody said, put Mod Podge on it. Yeah, that's a picture frame from Dollar Tree. The little bitty picture frames. So you're saying put one there? Down at the bottom too? Oh, wow. So they must know somebody maybe that works there? So put one down at the bottom. It looks fine with two. No bell looks funny. Yeah, I kind of think that looks kind of funny. <laughs> Under the belt is his, yeah, that's his pants. Going down to his pants. Oh, the numbers are soaring again? Oh no, I was afraid that was gonna happen in the fall when it got cold. Um, they are here too in my county. They said, you know, we're, our numbers have spiked up too. So, okay. No bill at the bottom. I wiped it off though. It's back silver again. <laughs> Kathy has an inside friend. She does. Two is good. I think that's so cute. So I know that y'all are going to just run with this idea and go crazy with it and uh, put them in the group because I know I'm going to see them. And y'all's always look so much better than mine. <laughs> I'm my biggest, own biggest critic though. Um, but this is really cute. I might end up hanging this on my tree, my craft, my craft tree that I have in there. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do with it is hanging on that tree. But we got to make a tree topper. So my goal is that we're making ornaments and stuff and then we got to make a tree topper. So that's, I'm working on making a tree topper or doing a tree topper live because my craft tree needs a topper on the top. And I don't want to buy one. Everything on the tree is going to be made. Well, there's a couple of things of gnomes from Walmart on there, but. Oh, better get your supplies and stocked while you can. Tammy, you're going to, you're going to cause a crafting revolution and everybody's going to be headed out and just throwing stuff in the buggy. So, um, <laughs> yes, I'm probably going to hang it on the tree. My tree's going to be full, y'all, when we get done. It's going to be so full. 
Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Maybe a bow. Well, you know, I did ponder the bow idea, but I didn't know if it would take away from all of this. Seeing some of your talent. Thank you, Lauren. Oh, Darlene, bless your heart. Well, there's always Amazon. You just you just get on that computer and hit buy and they'll show up at your door. I love Amazon. They'll, me and the Amazon guy are like on first name basis pretty much. Because I sit here and my window is open right here. The blinds are open in the daytime and I see him drive up. So I just go to the door and get my stuff. Um, uh, and so we, you know, I talk to him. Or whatever and he comes like every day not not well maybe every other day so <laughs> anyway um oh I, I, Teresa I probably could go a, a while without having to go somewhere using what I have which is kind of bad to say but I always kid that um this is fabric yeah I put the frame, I just put it right on the fabric, but it's fabric over some ribbon so I didn't have to measure and make it all straight. And Oh, thank you, Jane. Um, but anyway, the, what, I forgot what I was saying about Amazon, but um, Amazon has pretty much everything. So if you can't get out, you can always do Amazon. Um, a little gold bell like here. Or here somewhere yeah I think the bow would take away from it too Sandy so Sandy does your husband approve of the bells and all Amazon yes and Amazon we have places in Memphis which is like a hop skip and a jump for me they have a bunch of um, facilities there so like it sometimes if I order something today it'll come tomorrow it won't even be 24 hours and I'll have it in my house and so it's crazy so anyway, all right, guys, well, I'm going to hop off and I saw my notification pop up that um, uh, Alexis with Purposeful Indulgence is live and she is, I think she's doing her, she does a foodie, foodie, a Friday night foodie food thing or festive food Friday. That's it. Um, no, the belt, yeah, the belt's fabric. I just put it over some ribbon. Um, yeah, have a great weekend. I will be on tomorrow. Tomorrow is the tree, the rag tree challenge. So I will be on at four. Um, I'll put the flyer up again so y'all can see it of who all's in it. But it's not going to be the traditional, everybody's not doing the traditional rag tree like I did a couple of weeks ago. It's going to be different ways of making trees. It's not necessarily that same rag tree. I'm doing something totally different. But, um... So, yeah, so be sure to watch that. I'll put the times up when it's going to be. I'm going to be on at 4 p.m. Central Time tomorrow making another different rag tree. Um, so, y'all have a good evening. Hop over and watch Alexis from Purposeful Indulgence. She's making some kind of hot chocolate something, and I'm going to go watch her too. So, um, so I will see y'all tomorrow doing the rag tree challenge, okay? All right, guys, can't see, wait to see how y'all do this up. It is just so stinking cute. Um, yes, so y'all go watch he uh, Heather. Alexis, uh, Heather said Alexis is doing hot cocoa three ways. Don't that sound good and warm? Um, you're welcome, Kathy. Yay, Tammy. Okay, Donna, y'all see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.